stuff. Okay, the next punch in the basic uh, punching series for uncivilized self-protection uh, boxing is going to be the uppercut. Right. I'm letting you guys uh, in on this video. Uh, this is a color code I've used before. Typically, I do the traditional one, two, three, four. Jab, rear, hook, uppercut. The old one, two, right? The one, two, three. Right, so you can use the color system or the number system. Typically the jab, it's red, you're gonna use that the most. The rear and the uppercut are my black and blue. Those are the big heavy hitters. Uh, the hook is green because uh, in my brain it's just so versatile, uh, like trees and nature. Let's talk about the uppercut, the second of the angulars. So the uppercut, um, from your stance, we talked before, if the elbow is floating from this vertical line, if it's at 90 or greater, it's gonna be a hook. If the elbow is between uh, 30, 45, 60 degrees, right from zero, this is gonna be uppercut territory, okay? So keep your elbow in tight, you're in your stance, your elbow's gonna stay tight, okay? And your uppercut, how do you get this uppercut to, to drive uh, some power? I can't do this, take my fist away and throw that, now I'm all opened up to attack. So the driver for the uppercut, which is an angular punch, elbow kept, less than 90 degrees. I don't uppercut like this with my arm swinging open at the elbow. Okay, that's just arm punching, won't do any good. I'm gonna keep that nice and tight, 90 degrees or less, right? The more power I've got by keeping a, a shorter angle. The power for the uppercut comes from the pelvis, just like the lunge on the jab, the drop of the pelvis on the rear, the turn of the pelvis on the hooks. And for the uppercut, we're going to lift or tilt the pelvis. I always say lift. So I'm low and I'm going to drive my pelvis up, lift up. Translate that through the upper body, just like that. Now you noticed on the, the hook video, I said you had to load uh, the hips first, load then turn the pelvis. Same thing for the uppercut. The hook and the uppercut being angular punches, you have to be more inside or closer, we call it in range, um, than you do with the linear punches, right? So you're gonna to wanna to load that front leg or load that pelvis by changing levels. The fist is gonna come off the face a little bit. So I've lined my elbow up, shoulder, elbow, and hip. And now I'm going to lift my pelvis and drive that punch up, looking at my palm. You can uppercut with different angles, do not do so. Palm looking at you, driving straight up, okay? So I load, lift my pelvis. Just like the hook, we don't hook like this and follow through. We hook, we slam the door and go back. We hook, hit, and go back. Uppercut, punches. Your elbow does not go above the middle of your chest, definitely no higher than your uh, clavicle. We usually say nipple line. Like I've got a bungee cord from my elbow to my waist. So when I punch, my uppercut loads, drives my pelvis up, it hits, and just like it's on a, a string, right back down. Punch, uppercut, okay? From the front, load, lift the pelvis. Closed. Open side, load, lift. Uh, maybe come closer. Just like the uh, hook, the uppercut, by convention, by convention is rear hand to the head. By convention. I can throw a rear uppercut, okay? Or sorry, a lead uppercut. By loading out here, instead of coming with the hook, maybe they threw a side shield up and I change my, my mind and I lift my pelvis and drive that short shovel hook or uppercut, lead uppercut into the liver. All right, so I can do it with the, the lead hand. Convention says rear hand. I can throw it to the body, which is just sort of a drop the fist a little lower because it's not going vertically, All right? I drop my fist a little lower and throw the hook by lifting my pelvis, but I've changed the angle, not hook, uppercut. I've changed the angle so it ends up in the body the uppercut's a good uh, solar plexus if you've got them tight or liver 
uh, spleen, if you can throw the low hook. But by convention, uppercut is rear hand to the head, lift the hips. All right, so those videos are the four basic punches. One, two, three, and four. Red, blue, green, black, if you wanna use my color code. And later, we're gonna start working on combinations of these. And to review, my hips lunge for the jab, drop my pelvis for the rear, turn my pelvis for the hook, and lift that pelvis for the uppercut. Um, I think that's about it. We get the camera on a stand, I have my wife come out and eat a few in the liver so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing it. So subscribe to the channel, like the channel, comment below, share the channel, and I'm gonna keep up this boxing series next with footwork, then we're gonna do uh, slip, slaps, and shields, duck, bob, weave, pull. We're gonna talk about step to the angle, loose angle, tight angle, inside, outside. We're gonna go over all that in the rest of the series. And then we'll start adding on, if there's interest, and doing some more um, <clears throat> advanced applications. So uh, that's it.